everybody are you in the mood for another art quickie if you haven't met poppy yet this is her poppy doesn't like it when i give you guys attention at all because all eyes should be on her um so if you have missed my previous uh, video about my art quickie journal it is something that I use on the days where I don't have a lot of energy and I use it for very small and manageable art projects. And sometimes I'm in the mood for a portrait and on some days I can't even manage to do that. And then I'll do little collages and that is what we're going to do today. And I love to collage with transparent vintage ephemera. I have a huge collection uh, which I share with my patrons um, as printable goodies. Um, if you're on there then um, just find the category printable goodies and you will see all the printable ephemera within your tier. And if you don't want to do that, but you still want to uh, do something with transparent collage paper, you can make it at home using tea bags. You can stamp on top of them. And if you do, then make sure to use archival ink pads, because otherwise, if you're going on top of it with medium or something, then you will smear it all over the place and if you use archival inks then they will stay put once they are dry another thing you can do is take some indian ink and use that to decorate your tea bags you can take a brush and you can just do some random mark making on top of there and as you can see, I'm using uh, some craft paper underneath so that I won't get ink on my art table. And when I lift my tea bag, I notice the start of a face. I get inspired really quickly with random marks. And if that happens to you, I want to encourage you to play, you know? Whenever you get inspiration, even though you weren't looking for it, then make use of that time and just play for a little while. It doesn't need to be a very serious artwork or something. Just a little bit of playtime just for you. Little unexpected moments like that keep the creative process fun for us. And when we have fun, we create more. When we create more, our style will keep evolving. And all this happens really naturally without getting frustrated. So yeah, I encourage you to play. Another way of making transparent collage papers is to take your tea bag and fold it a whole bunch of times you can do this in many, many ways. You don't need to overthink this. Just fold it and dip it in your Indian ink. And when you unfold it, there are all kinds of cool patterns. And depending on how long you dip it in the ink, the stronger the black will become. If you want very thin marks, then just dip it in there really quickly and get it out of there i hope that by now you have a whole bunch of collage papers that you're excited about whether they are transparent or not let's have some fun with them before i start i will uh, give you a little flip through um, you've seen everything in here in the previous video and i just wanted to show you what I've done in between on Patreon. Um, this was with uh, fluid acrylics, I think, or the high flow, I'm not sure which, and some alcohol, some gesso and a little bit of paint. I really love these quickies. And again, I tried to do a full spread without taping off the edges. And again, I didn't really like it. 
I did like those handmade collage papers though. This was a fun one. It's really fun to play with text as, yeah, just as a part of your composition. This was just a little mixed media experiment and yeah, sometimes this happens and you know, it's this was because I was too impatient and I was working with a gel medium and I wanted to do another art quickie and because of the pressure they stuck together and yeah, so, but you know, I just wanted to show you this because we all, we've all been, we have all been there <laughs> and, um, you know, stuff happens. You can just make a little pocket or something, uh, glue the edges together and you can stick something in there or you can just glue them together. I wouldn't lose any sleep over this. Uh, if it happens to you, you know, it's a bummer, but. Uh, you can do anything again. Uh, it won't look exactly the same, but if if I maybe I could do some collage on top of this here, it's very very thin, so uh, I would need some thick collage, and maybe I can keep some of it in there. And yeah, maybe I'll do that uh, next week or so. Um, yeah, this is very very thin. <laughs> okay. And this was the last one. Uh, I love intuitive little portraits, but today it's, I'm in a heat wave and I want to do a little something, but I, um, yeah, I don't have the energy to, uh, to put a lot of thought in there. So I thought, I would do some collaging with transparent uh, vintage papers. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. And let's see. Maybe I want this one underneath. Yeah. thing about collage is that you can really take your time to uh, to see whether you like the composition. I don't like this, but maybe here in the middle. I think I like that. Yeah, because of the contrast and the organic shape, the repetition of the marks, I think it's a really nice addition. And doing little exercises like this uh, can help you with some experience with abstract art. Uh, I, this one could be done for my taste, 
but this one is still it needs to be pulled together somehow somehow maybe maybe i want what do you think some extra layering right maybe this is too straight as well maybe i want to tear it there get rid of those edges those boring straight edges let's see if i can do something with this and maybe i want to tear off oh i like the spots right here hmm it's risky but sturdy there that's a little bit better maybe a little bit because i thought i would like the straight edges but i don't I don't maybe i like it better than <laughs> than without it oh yes let's offset this that's a bit more exciting right just re sticking it on there is that a word <laughs> yes that's better way better okay now maybe maybe i just want little little pieces maybe a little bit right here oh yeah that's better let's see yes i like that better and maybe let's see if we can get a focal point in there or something we can see if we like a particular color better than the other i like stamps maybe some green hmm. i like warm colors but maybe i do like it but maybe with the we can get some contrast by bringing in a cooler color where Maybe here let's see if we want some repetition maybe let's find some other blue ones this is just playing you know there are no strict rules Maybe I want a different color. Nope. <laughs> if you see it on there, you will know whether or not you like it. I do like this, this color. But maybe I like the stamped ones better. Let's see. I don't want to cover up all those spots. Maybe Maybe something like this to balance um, this boring part, but I do like the markings. And exercises like this will help you to um, make decisions. And the more often you do this, the better you'll get in making decisions while you are creating art. Maybe I want this side to be very heavy. Maybe I want it maybe here. What do you think? And let me know in the comments if you think there was a way better option for this time to go than what I'm going to do. Because we're all learning. I want it somewhere. Maybe here. Yes, because we don't need the whole line. Maybe, maybe we want it here. I like the repetition of the circles. That's why I don't want to put it on here. Then I'll lose it. I think I'll, you know, 
We don't need to overthink so much in our journals. So what if we pick um, a spot that's not the best? You know? All that matters is that we're putting in some art time there. I made a decision. I have no idea if it's the best one and that is okay. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this inspiration and I wish you lots of fun in your art journal. Happy creating!